NYCC review part one. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the castle cast. We're glad you passed by. You get the right time. We got an all-time mind. Couples have toys and jumps on mine. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell the walls, we hunt together. Yes. Welcome to the castle cast. We're glad you passed by. You get the right time. We got an all-time mind. Couples have toys and jumps on We had to break this video up into two pieces because there were so many fire Funko Pops and sodas that dropped today! Well, they weren't dropped, they were announced today. Announced today! What if there's like more reveals tomorrow? I don't think I can handle any more. Okay, so let's just say part one of question mark. Part one of question mark. We could even make three videos. I don't care. Do I look like I care to you? No. You want to know how I know? Because you have a tan, tan line from your sunglasses. Okay, cool. That's somebody who doesn't give a f So Funko brought the NYCC fire. This sh was insane. Could you even believe what they did today? No, I can't believe it. I so can't believe it. From the second I woke up and started seeing these reveals, I was like, damn, that is good. And then they announced another thing. I'm like, damn, that is good. And then they announced a third thing and a fourth thing and a fifth thing. Each one. Damn! That is good! And then you know what I was doing at my desk all day at work? Every single time I got a little ding on my phone from dish trackers, all I could do was fire emoji, fire emoji, fire emoji. Okay, so this drop is much bigger than San Diego Comic Con. New York Comic Con is coming in with the mother heat. <laughs> to what was announced today, I did want to mention that these drops are happening on Funko.com and the shared retailers on Friday, October 7th at 6 a.m. Pacific time, 9 a.m. Eastern. So for all you West Coasters, that sucks. Sorry about it. Don't care because I'm on the East Coast, baby. <laughs> This is going to be a huge drop, and I can't wait to see how this all goes down. There are many pieces on this list that people were going crazy about. Yeah, NYCC seems to be the con. They do all the best for NYCC. I've never seen this much awesomeness in one convention before. And we're gonna go over all of these. There's a three liter soda that I did not expect as a Marvel fan, and it blew my head up today. I could not believe it. But before we get into that, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post brand new content. And we post new content every single day and we go live every Sunday between 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern. Also make sure you hit the like button because that actually helps this video get a better reach so we find more viewers to watch the Gasselcast. On our channel we post all of the latest Funko news. We record every single day so it is the quickest you will get your Funko news on YouTube. Additionally on Tuesdays with the exception of NFT drop Tuesdays where we post this video on Saturdays we do what we call how Tuesday. So it's Funko University how to and we explain the most basic Funko knowledge to you, our audience, and it is such a fun new segment. So hit the subscribe button. Oh, and speaking of NFTs, we did not go for the drop today because it was trash. It was so bad that they had to burn NFTs today. Yeah, that's only the second time it's ever happened. The first time was with Bob Ross, and I think a lot of it had to do with that Bob Ross documentary coming out and people not wanting to purchase anything Bob Ross because that's not what Bob Ross wanted. Oh, and by the way, they've already mentioned something about Fright Night. Did you see that? Yeah, this is going to be held on Friday, October 7th for NYCC badge holders only, which is different from Fun Days because it's held at a separate venue and you don't need an SDCC badge. Yeah, this is totally different than SDCC and it's actually being run by Reed Pop. And I don't know if that's good or bad, but one thing we want Funko to know is that we need to get in there. All right, so the announcements didn't start off on a good foot. There was a lot of really great things announced today, but the first things that were announced were the pigeon and the rat again. How many times are we going to get this I get it, this is very NYCC. There's a pizza rat and there's a pigeon, both of which major cities are known for, especially New York. This is enough already, Funko. We gotta shut this down. I understand wanting to get the most out of a mold, but this is crazy. If they did black light or something, yeah. or the pizza rat's wearing like a different color It's just different hat. colors, it's a different colorway. 
and a different colored pizza toppings. Yeah. And same with the pigeon. I mean, they, they could have done something else, right? So how we're gonna do this review is we're gonna say this is awesome or we're gonna yell trash. So we're gonna go ahead and do this one and you do what you feel, I'll do what I feel for every single review. So here we go at the same time. One, two, three, trash! I love this one, I got a dance number for you. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Shake it, shake it, sh shake it, shake it, sh shake it, shake it. What Funko Pop are you even talking about? The Polaroid. No, no, I was talking about the pigeon and the rat. Oh, no, that's f***ing trash. Okay, can we do it again properly this time without the f***ing number? Can we dance again? Yeah, no, we have to dance again. Let's Here dance we go. Again. Let's go. Ready? Here we go. All right, hold on. Pizza Rat and Polly Pigeon. Trash! Okay, Polaroid camera. No, 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 we're not ready. Okay. We're not ready. I'm not ready. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so the next one is a Polaroid camera, and he's holding a little picture in his hand, and this thing is awesome and I really like it a lot. It is great. Yeah, so now we both at the same time, we say it's awesome. Okay. okay here we go. One, two, three. Awesome! Get no! Get like a polar no! All right, and then there's this weird Rubik's Cube thing. Uh, he's great. You think so? Yes. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't really care about Rubik's Cube only because I've never solved one. You ever solved one? Yeah, they're sort of little yeah, are they really are. really hard to solve. But it's like he's smiling and he's saying, I bet you can't unlock me, mother f And he's well, wearing yeah. two different colored shoes. Who the f does this guy think he is? All right, so what do we think of this one, Heather? Oh, Trash! All right, and then there's Kaboom Cereal. He's cute, but I don't, I don't really know much about him. I like his umbrella. Trash! Hey. What'd you say? Okay. No, it's awesome or trash. Mm -mm. There's I, no in the middle. There is in the middle and I just made it up. It's okay. Oh my God. One of my favorites of the day. It's awesome! We're not even ready yet. Oh, I'm ready. Borat. I'm so excited we're finally getting a Borat Funko Pop. Very nice. How much? You'll never get this. You'll never get this. I'm really excited about this Funko You'll Pop. You'll be working mischief toys. You'll never get this in the Funko line. I don't like the noise your chair's making. <laughs> I saw this movie way back in 2006 in the theater. It was the hardest I've ever laughed in my life. And I've watched this movie countless times ever since. I can't wait for this pop. Me too. All right, here we go. It's awesome. Notorious B.I.G. In a, in a golden suit. He's got big old boots on. I love Biggie, but I feel like he's overdone. But I do have to say that this variant's pretty cool. Biggie's become Batman. He's all right. I do like that he's in a new outfit. He is gold. And he's he looks solid fly gold. as He does look fly. So can we just yell fly then? Fly! Oh my God, it's Anakin Skywalker and he looks awesome. He has two lightsabers in his hands. This is from Attack of the Clones. Wow. Which is hey, Star Wars Episode a, 2. He has a rat tail. He has it. No, that's his little Padawan learning tail. It's f***ing dumb. He's got the cool hair. How dare you? How dare you? No, how dare cool. you? It's ah! awesome! You know, he becomes Darth Vader. I thought Darth Vader was just born as Darth Vader. Like he came out of his mom's womb and he had the helmet? Hmm? What? Yeah. What do you mean? Are you being serious? I didn't know that Anakin Skywalker was, Dar was Darth Vader. You for real didn't know that? Yeah, you never told me. I can't stand Star Wars. It puts me to sleep. No, it doesn't. Star Wars is awesome. It puts me to Star sleep. Star Wars is awesome. Okay. Maybe to you. People with bad taste. You got bad taste. Yeah, well, married married? you. <laughs> okay, so the next one's from Andor. And I swear, I had mentioned this earlier to some, some of my friends. That looks like a wiener. Your penis look like that? No, but doesn't it not look like... Look, the sides of the... And then there's the head. It looks like a weird chode. Thank you. It's a wiener. No one's agreed with me all day. And every time I bring it up, they're like, oh, is that what your wiener looks like or something? No. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to show you what the wiener is. Oh, that's so graphic. Look what she did. I made a new one. No, don't make any new ones. I think we've had enough. I did. Oh, come on. I can't show that. Hey, come on. No. What do we think about the wien bot, Heather? How about the bullies from The Simpsons? Awesome! We haven't even talked about them yet. What do you want to say about them? Who, what are their names? It's Jimbo and Kearney! So you like these? Yeah, they're f***ing awesome. I knew exactly who they were. Me too, and I really like the Jimbo. He's awesome. I'm not going to buy these because I don't collect Simpsons, but you know what I think they are? Let's do this. Ready? Awesome! awesome! All right, and then there's the cow from Disney. 
Claire Bocow. Do you like her? She looks good for what she is. I don't I don't really know much about it. Awesome! And then there's an owl from Disney. What's he? He's the main character in the Disney series Adventures in Music. I have never heard of that ever a day in my life. It, yeah. As long as it looks like the character. Let's do this, Heather. Awesome! I've heard about this. This is a short. It's called Kit Bull. Spark shorts. It's a Pixar thing. So it's a it's kitten and a pit bull. So it's kid bull. That's, that's what I'm kind of taking away from this. That's cute. I bet they're besties. They look like besties. Uh, they do. And I feel like I've actually watched that at some point. I feel like I might have to. Yeah, like on Disney Plus. But these two are really great. And I actually sort of want these. So I'm going to go ahead and say another. Awesome! And then there's the girl from Brave. Trash! Okay. Who framed Roger Rabbit? This is one of the winners of the day, in my opinion. I've been waiting for new Roger Rabbit Funko Pops for a very long time, and I hope that we get more Roger Rabbit Funko Pops. Uh, f yeah, I am so excited to see this. I want it. I love it. I love this Funko Pop because he has all the little, like, kissy marks all over him. I like his face. He looks like he's having a really good time. I think something... He looks like he has a poker somewhere in there, and there's pants or whatever. What do you call that outfit? Overalls. Awesome! <gasps> Another fire one. This one's fire again. This is the Peter Pan Schmee with the island of, it's like a skull. Skull. Skull rock. rock. Mm. Mm. That sounds like a metal band. It does. Or like a genre of metal. Skull rock. Skull rock. I like that. This Funko Pop is great. It's like a moment. I don't know if this is connected or if it's two separate pieces. I think but, they're connected. But, but no matter the case, this is a really fucking cool piece. Awesome! And then there's the Free Guy Funko Pop. And it looked like there was a lot of people excited about this. I personally didn't care so much for the Free Guy film. Like, I thought it was okay. Not a huge fan. Does it look good as a Funko Pop? It does. This is supposed to be Ryan Reynolds. It doesn't look like Ryan what, Reynolds. Uh... Ryan Reynolds looks like this. You got a point. Uh, I don't even know if I want to call it trash because I don't think it's trash. I mean, it's, it's a people pop and we're not into people pops. So we're going to trash it? We'll say it's okay. No, no, no. I want to do either trash or awesome. That's kind of the route we're going here. Okay, here we go. We're just going to say it. We're just going to do it. Hold on. You say one, I'll say the other. No, we'll say them both at the same time. No, because if you say trash and I say awesome, then they'll even each other out. Oh. So it's like we're good guys. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Bad guys. We're free guys. Here we go. Okay. Trash. Yes. Oh my god! Did you see this dragon from Villains, the Villains line, the Maleficent Dragon 3 liter soda? Holy sh**! Why are you making that face? I don't like it. What don't you like about it? I think it's the face. I just don't, I'm not into it. Looks it looks awesome. For real, it's awesome. Okay, I'm glad that you like it. I personally don't like it. It comes in a purple bottle. That's our favorite color. I love the color purple. I don't love the dragon. I personally think it's awesome. I don't care so much about the chase. The chase has a little bit of like green fire. It's also a diamond like series, which is kind of cool, I guess. But I personally think this one is awesome. Ash. All right, here's the one that I want the most out of all the drops I've seen so far. I want a pair of jugs all in my face, Heather. I want them just slapping me silly. I want some jugs just just jugs everywhere, Heather. Just slobber all over them. I cannot help you with that. No, no, I'm talking about Juggernaut, the three liter soda. Oh, I might be able to get you one of them. This is the first time I've ever like wanted to go out of my way to make sure I get the chase and the comet. I love that the chase has the broken helmet. This thing is super duper sick. The good thing about it is that it's a 10,000 count. Now they could change this by the time we get to the con, but if it's 10,000, that's a pretty good amount of these figures. Mm-hmm. You might have some good luck getting that chase. I really hope so. I think this thing is dope. It's my favorite thing of the show, and I think it's awesome! Um, you think it's awesome too? Yeah, I love it. Not that fucking dragon though. And then there's Phoenix. Okay, I think she's really pretty. You know what's trash though? It doesn't mention that she glows and she has yellow eyes. She doesn't glow. This yeah. is just a different colored outfit. Why are her eyes yellow? Because it's like showing her, I, I hate this thing so much. Why I do really you hate do. it? I just, I don't like it. I think it's garbage. I, I don't like this I think she looks really pretty. If it glowed in the dark and had a cool chase, maybe I'd be more into it, but I'm just not into this at her all. I think it's garbage. Her eyes glow. Yeah, if her eyes glowed, that would be awesome. I, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Trash! The next one is Shuri. It's a soda, and this thing is 
cool. I love the glow in the dark. Mm -hmm. I think this is a great soda. It's a 10,750 count, which is a really weird number, but I like this figure and this definitely will be something I go for. Love the color scheme. Awesome! awesome! Then there's a Statue of Liberty or Defender of Liberty, I think they call it. I can't remember the name, but it's from Spider-Man No Way Home. A lot of people are talking about how much they love this, and I'm not saying I dislike it. I, I just, it's okay. I didn't realize it was a Spider-Man pop. I thought it was just the Statue of Liberty. No, she has the shield in her hand. Yeah, I, I get it, but I didn't, like, I didn't see the shield. I didn't see the Spider-Man thing in the corner. I just saw the statue. Well, I like that it goes with New York. I like that it's the Statue of Liberty. I think that's kind of cool. So you know what? I'm not going to trash this. I'm going to call Oh, this awesome, I think. You ready? Yeah. All right. It's awesome. awesome! Then there's Groot, and he has like a watch band around his head, and he's wearing what looks to be like, I don't know, mushrooms and trees. This is coming from the I Am Groot series that's on Disney+. Plus. I watched them. They were kind of fun to watch. Not my favorite things in the world. Groot is cute, but I'm done with Groot. I don't need any more Groot, so I'm just going to go ahead and say it is trash. Where, where are you at? I don't feel comfortable trashing Groot. What do you mean? He's just Groot. Trash! What? I said he's all right. I can't trash Groot. We're getting our very first Secret Invasion Funko Pop that'll be a Disney Plus series show. This is Nick Fury, and I fucking love this Funko Pop. Me too. He looks fantastic. He looks undercover. I like that he has like that brown jacket on under there with the glasses. I like the eye with the scrapes over his eye. I think that's kind of cool. Awesome! awesome! There's a Parks and Rec Funko Pop. Um, I remember this character. She's kind of funny in the show. I don't have anything to say. Do you just want to say it's okay for this one? Breaking yeah. my own scheme. It's, it's okay. okay! And then there's uh, Kelly from The Office, where she's dressed up for Halloween. I never saw that episode. It's cute, though. It's, it's awesome. okay! Last Kingdom. I it's have no okay. idea what the f*** it is! But how about the character from Jurassic World Dominion? No one cares about this movie. No one! She looks really pretty, She though. looks pretty and cool and everything, but I just don't know anything about it. I've never seen the film, and I've only heard bad things. I don't I have no idea. I, I'm just gonna say, yeah! It's okay. Harry Potter holding a horn. So this is from a very iconic scene. It's from the Chamber of Secrets. It's where he defeats the basilisk. He like stabs it with a tooth or sta stabs the journal with the tooth of the basilisk. Why I'm, is it anytime we talk about Harry Potter, thing. you just don't know anything? No, I do. Fox brings the sorting hat and it has the, the sort of Gryffindor in it and Harry pulls it out. So the phoenix collected the sword, put it in the hat and kills the around? basilisk. And then he takes the basilisk tooth and kills the, the journal that's bringing Tom Riddle to life. I um, swear, anytime you talk about this or explain, it sounds like you're drunk. Listen, this could have been way cooler. For <laughs> you're telling me. I wish that the journal were somewhere, and I love that it has two very important items in his in his hands. So what are we doing? It's okay. It's trash. Okay, don't trash hair. Hey, I'm going to do whatever I want. I said that your juggernaut was awesome. Because it is. So is Harry Potter. And then there's a, a character being carried around by two little demons. or No! This is Neville Longbottom. He's being picked up by two Cornish pixies. He's on a stand. Did you see it? Because he's coming like up out off the ground. Okay, let me just say this. I like that it's different. I like that there's an action pose here. I think this is really neat. I actually do like this Funko Bob a lot. Who plays Neville Longbottom? He's the one that got really hot after the movies. What do you mean? Matthew got, Lewis. He got really hot after the movies. Yes, yeah, so he would look. He was that and then he got to that. Oh my god. I know, right? Alright, so what do we think of this Funko Bob? We're both going to say it. It's Awesome! This is the grail of the Funko announcements for me. That's awesome. My grail, I think, is Juggernaut, but we'll have to see the rest tomorrow. We're going to go over the rest of them. We're going to give you our honest review. We're going to yell a lot. We're going to have a good time, as we typically do. We'll be back tomorrow, but we want to know what you think about the Funko Pops and Funko Sodas that we talked about in this video today in the comment section down below. And hey, we just want to thank our patrons. You guys are awesome. And we want to shout out to a couple of you, at least. I think we do 10 every single video. So we're going to shout out to 10 of you because you're cool. And every time I say a name, I want Heather to yell awesome. Eric Hall. Awesome. Retro Game G. Awesome. Nathan Backen. Awesome. Clarissa V. Awesome. Carlos Campbell. Awesome. Pop Cop 765 Awesome. Eric and Cassandra Golden. Awesome. Awesome. The Disgruntled Octopus. Awesome. Steven Anderson. Awesome. Celeste Crawford. Awesome. Christopher Gast. Can you just say it? Trash! Hey! Thank
thank you to all of our patrons. You guys are amazing. And if you want to support this channel, head over to patreon.com slash castlecast to find out all the ways that you can. And we want to let you know that later this month, we're going to be showing our patrons the NYCC Gasly that will be dropping at New York Comic Con for the very first time before anybody else. So make sure if you're a patron to tune in. And if you're not a patron, go and check out patreon.com slash castlecast. Okay, I just want to be very clear. I know we went over all those different Funko Pots and sodas, but I just want to tell you that I honestly think that Harry Potter is trash! I sit through every single goddamn Marvel movie. Harry Potter only has seven, and you have the nerves to call it trash? It's a masterpiece. Harry Potter! Ah! <laughs>